going on YouTube? I just wanted to uh, make a quick video. Got a lot of puppy itis going on right now. There's a lot of people that got a lot of litters out right now. Um, Sasha, father, uh, Diesel, and Molly, they got a litter out. I think they turned. I believe they turned three weeks today, I believe. And that litter is awesome. I mean, unbelievable. I didn't expect it to be, um, it didn't turn out that damn good. Not like that. I knew there were going to be some, you know, some good dogs, but man. Man, I'm blown away. <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanted to um, talk about a little bit about since there's so much puppy items going on right now and shit. When dealing with breeders, different breeders, their process of puppy litters. And what I mean by that is um, how do they sell puppies? Because you hear about a first come, first serve basis with some breeders, and then you have uh, what they call, you know, uh, picks, you know, first pick, second, you know, first, first, second, third, etc. And um, it can get a little confusing. And all that because some breeders said they don't do picks. They just sell the individual dog, which is um, retarded. And then um, you have some people that do a first come, first serve basis. So they'll do a, a puppy list. And they'll take, you know, so many puppy, uh, so many um, names for the males, so many names for the females. And then once the puppies are born... And after like a week or two, they'll start calling people from top to bottom. And, uh, you know, letting them know, hey, you know, puppies are born and doing good. We have such and such males, such and such females. Are you still interested? Deposits 500, et cetera, et cetera. You know, they do like that. Or, excuse me, they do what is um, picks. You know, they're like, well... There's first pick, second pick, you know, first pick, second pick, third pick, fourth pick. And depending on what pick, you, you may be paying more or less, you know. So, really, it's, um, so, let's, okay, probably say, let's say the average price for a puppy is 1500 right? The average price is 1500 So, the baseline is 1500 if you want first pick, they'll say, hey, I have first pick available. It's $2,500, right? And what first pick, well, what some breeds will try to do is say, you know, oh, um, I have first pick male available. And they'll show you the dog. This is first pick male. At that age, at that age, depending on the breed and all that, at, at that age, you can't determine what's first pick and what's not. And then, quite frankly, puppy, all the puppies that develop at a different age. Now, sometimes you can tell, you know what I'm saying, if you know what you're looking at, but still, dogs develop at a different age. So for them to say, oh, I have this first pick male available, this dog right here, and he's 2,600. He's first pick to you, but he might not be first pick to me. You see what I'm saying? So I think it's... um. You know, it's uh when it when it when when a breeder tries to sell you a dog and saying this is the first pick dog, um, that's an opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, me personally, I like I like kind of like the first come, first serve type deal when a breeder announces on breeding, such and such dogs are going to be breeding. It's going down. They take a list. The first person that you know that call that calls or texts or whatever, however they they interact with the breeder, gives them information, put them down. That's the first person down on the litter, and then so on and so on. I kind of like that deal um, because 
in the reality, a lot of times when you're dealing with puppies and all that and breedings and shit, there's gonna be pe there's gonna be people that fall off. You know what I'm saying? You may not hear from them no more, and then when the when the dogs are there, they may not like what they see and they fall off. So it's a it's kind of like an inner interchangeable type deal. You know what I'm saying? But I like the first come first serve on the puppy list. When the puppies are born and all that, you contact the people, right? You contact the people that's on the list. See if they're still interested. Do they still want a puppy and all that? And go from there. Now, prices. Um, at the end of the day, a breeder is going to put value on his own his own his own thing his own stock his own product whatever you want to call it his own animals so you can't really knock a breeder for putting a, a certain value on their on their shit now depending on how much they value it is up to up for a debate you know what i mean but um at the end of the day, they can value it at anything they want. You know what I'm saying? It's their stuff. You're you're hitting them up for some of your stuff, so they can value it at any whatever it is. You know, just like okay, a prime example, okay, American Bulldogs, right? I would say if you want a, a good quality American Bulldog, a good quality American Bulldog, and here in the states, in the states, the value is a little bit higher than over there in Europe. Um, you're looking at average cost between, you're looking at, I would say, 1500 up to 2500 Some may go a little bit higher, you know. I'll say 50, you're looking at between fifteen and 2500 on average, you can get you a good quality American Bulldog, right? So, again, you have these breeders, you know, you have these certain breeders, like, you know, I'll have this first pig male available. All the dogs, all the dogs are picked, they're gone, they're off the yard, but they'll say, I have a first pig, this first pig male is still available. Oh, how much you want for him? Oh, I want 2,800 or 25. If he was first, if he was the first pick male, we all visually can see he is the best dog or she's the best dog in the litter. Why is she last? You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times it's a selling tool, you know, I understand it, you know, but again, you know, somebody that don't know, that's not hip to the shit. They're like, oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? So, but for me, my personal opinion, I, you know, how I would do it is first come, first serve, first, you know, you know, first come, first serve, who's the first person to put the deposit down, say on the, on the, on the mail list, right? On the mail list, right? The first person to put their deposit down and the first person to pay the money, they get their picks. Now, some breeders do payment plans, and all that's a whole nother subject. But the first person to put their five hundred dollar deposit down, that's which non refundable. They are the person that they get to choose first, and then for me, I probably do like a set price. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably do a set price for all the pups. You know what I'm saying? So there's no. 2500 to 1500 type thing. I probably, you know, I won't do that. I'll do a set price for all the puppies, you know, and depending on what that set price is, you know, you know, it, it just depends. Um, more likely for me, a set price probably maybe 1700 or 1800 or 2000, somewhere around there. You know what? I, I, there'll be a set price for all the pups. You know what I'm saying? You want to go on the litter? You know, we'll do a puppy list. Take your con your contact information down when the puppies are born. I will notify you the puppies are born. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, we doing videos and shit. We're going to be doing videos, lives, and all that. So people that are really interested, they'll be able to see the whole process of everything. So, you know, I'll contact them like other puppies are born. And then after like, you know, a week or two, you know what I'm saying? Um, notify everybody, hey, it's time to put your deposits down and go from there. You know, um, it's a first come, first serve. So if you want have if you want to be able to choose your dog first from out that specific group of males and females, put your deposit down first. You know what I'm saying? And go from there. Um, it's a you know, set price. So there's no big old oh, you know, this is the first pick male, he's three thousand, none of that. You know what I'm saying? Only time I would do something like that is if I'm reserving and I will announce this from the breeding, reserving a first pick, uh, reserving a male and a female from that litter, right? But I will announce that prior, you know, I will announce that during me announcing the breeding. So all the um, future customers and all that, the, the future buyers would know everything up front that, that we, that we at Ronnie Bulldogs have the choice to have the option to reserve a male or a female pup up to our disclosure. You know what I'm saying? So, but all oh, that would be up front. So people, you know, a lot of people want, you know, most people want the first pick. They want to be able to choose what dog they want. It's not indicating that they're choosing the best dog. It's just they're choosing the dog that they want. Now, it may be the best dog or it may not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... I, you know, I definitely think that's very important to have a, a clear understanding because sometimes dealing with certain breeders, that can be a, a huge problem, understanding their system and all that, you know, so I just had that in my mind, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of, it's a lot of litters, it seems like there's a lot of litters, or what I'm referring to in the, uh, the Bulldog game that's out right now, it was like that last year too, you know what I'm saying, so Obviously, I got Sasha last year this time around. She, Sasha was born around this time, so. But, um, yeah, you know what I mean? So, I just wanted to, that was on my mind. I just kind of wanted to explain that, you know, explain that from my point of view and how I see things and all that. I just wanted to put that out there, so. But besides that, everything is, you know, going all right. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready for Thanksgiving and all that. Um, Sasha's down right here, laying down. You've been a good girl so far this morning. <laughs> we'll see how long that shit lasts. But, um, so yeah, um, I'll probably do another video. When is Thanksgiving? 27? So I think it's like Thursday or Friday, right? So I'll do another, I'll do another video on Friday or whatever. And, um, and it's 13 minutes. I'll do another video. Then... I'll probably just um, do a video of Sasha, tell you guys how she's doing, and show you her development and all that. So, thank you guys. Um, have a blessed day.